Flat Earth is not the end. A golden age is possible. A friend in the Flat Earth Awakening asked me the other night if I was concerned about the direction people were taking in their approach to what could happen if Flat Earth suddenly became a practical reality in the eyes of the mainstream media. She noticed that quite a few people in the community were expressing hope that civilization would reach an apocalyptic stage, and that an eventual collapse wasn't inevitable, but preferable. In addition, these extreme and defeatist views were now infecting her, and that while she didn't have the same enthusiasm for an impending human doom, the odds for this outcome seemed to be shifting in that direction. I disagree, and here's why. Yes, it's true that there will be a significant disruption in several academic, economic, political, and religious arenas. As I mentioned in the clues, universities will be scrambling to reinvent numerous scientific departments, and some will be outright abolished. Trillions of dollars in all currencies will be in a rapid state of flux as industries have to deal with their new state of relevance. Massive pieces of the military industrial complex will in short have no enemies to battle unless you still believe in terrorism which should be rendered obsolete. Who do you fight if everyone is now part of the same family? If a soldier standing across from you in a field is now your brother do you still take the shot? Everything that is tied to the soldier's objective becomes a giant question mark. What do these factories, these workers, now do? Kings, queens, presidents, and czars. Who do they call friend or foe? What is left of their long speeches when the saber rattling and national chest pounding is removed? When the flat earth reality dust settles, is the political arena even recognizable? Would there ever be a coup again? Why would you overthrow a political leader? What does the election process resemble at that point? I have a strong feeling that there would be a near complete overhaul as the general population opinions take on a heavier weight. And religion? The flat earth becomes the biggest blessing and curse in their long and sordid history. On one hand, their greatest enemy, science, instantly becomes the weaker opponent and six sits back on the ropes, taking its long overdue beating. 500 years of doctrine, elaborate equations, and 20 generations of people dedicating their life's work to cementing in what they considered to be an absolute reality. It all crumbles away because the mortar was just an illusion. But everything comes with a price, and theirs will be responsibility in calming their congregations, which represents eight out of every ten people in the world. Those billions will be looking for answers, and regrettably, the only figures of authority left with even a hint of a rational explanation will be different versions of the clergy. Unless, well, unless the current rulers of the surface population decide to take matters into their own hands. You've heard me say this on various programs, but I'll try to clarify. Either the authority turns the Flat Earth Awakening in a dark direction, using the potential chaos to fuel a short but intense death struggle for resources, creating a global every man for himself scenario that would make even the most hardcore survivalists blush, ending in a more controllable, reduced population that can be truly tailored for a new world order. Or they stage some sort of celestial event with or without a different and superior civilization. This event would be easy to spot as the now complete social network has been in place for several years. The mainstream media in all its glory would run round-the-clock coverage in all languages as leaders gave their opinions to the hungry masses, desperately trying to make sense of it all. The consensus would be quick to follow, and a potential new world order would be put in place, not only without firing a shot, 
but welcomed with applause and grateful blessings. Sounds pretty grim, doesn't it? They've figured out all the angles, all the perspectives. Nothing is left to chance, and yet, even then, there is still hope. And it shouldn't be a surprise that it comes from you. Yes, you. The one sitting there listening to my voice. The authority's power comes from people not being individuals. They count on you being sedentary, being indifferent, being part of the mob. You're better than that. You have the potential to be great, to be powerful, to be more than what others think you are. But you have to believe it. You have to want it. This is your choice, not theirs. How do you want this next chapter to unfold? Do you see yourself enjoying a chaotic disaster movie while your friends and loved ones suffer? Can you envision the news as the media tries to convince you of a future you didn't ask for? Then follow your heart for once in your life and change your path. Don't blindly follow what your machines tell you. If you do, you may not have a chance to regret it and make a difference later. When the day comes, and it will, stop, listen, and understand what is happening. Only then will you see what the right move is. And if you see it, so will others close to you. Then you'll be ready. And yes, then you have a chance for a golden age, one based on truth. Because if truth is your foundation, then anything is possible.